For those that really use physical activity a lot for health, I think it is great. We really need to understand that there's another aspect to health that we really need to pay attention to. I was an anxious runner, but through brain education, I found true health. My name is Kat Sawai. I'm in Honolulu, Hawaii, and I'm the manager of the Body and Brain Center in Kaimaki, Hawaii. My athletic background started when I was born, I would say. My funny story is I was born in the car, and so I think that already gave my road to being very excited and anxious to get into the world. I just couldn't wait to be born. And since then, I've always loved to run around. I love soccer, basketball, and track. And in college, I started doing martial arts. I then started getting into triathlons, so swimming and cycling. And I always loved running, so running was always a part of my everyday life. My background is in civil engineering, and I worked for a public entity for many years. And I was very comfortable there. I can honestly say that I worked very hard, and the hours were long, and I was very ambitious. So I really worked hard to work myself up to a position that I had my eyes set on from the day I started in the organization. However, once I got to the place that I hoped for, I felt still unfulfilled. <laughs> and um, I really, all this time, I was really active in outdoor activity. And I worked out every day. So after my office hours, regular hours from like seven to five. So right after that, I would put on my shoes and I would go running. Sometimes I would go back to the office and work more. So I really had this kind of behavior where I just, I couldn't stop. Even if I was just sitting in, a, in the office in a meeting or um, in a conference, watching a presentation, I, I would get these fainting spells. It was really scary because I never knew when it was going to happen. And then I, I didn't know why it was happening. When I couldn't figure out why I was having fainting spells, I couldn't sleep. That kept me up at night. My mind kept going and going and going. It wouldn't shut off. And then that led to another host of physical issues. Here I was working very hard to keep my body strong and I still felt like I was going to pass out for no reason. And when I did go to the doctor, of course, they did the usual things. They gave blood tests and checked me out, but they couldn't find anything wrong with me on the surface because, you know, I worked out a lot. Uh, however, I just knew that just I, I needed to resolve something that was a little bit deeper than just physical body because I felt I was doing everything necessary to be healthy. And that's when I became awakened that the physical body exercise strength does not necessarily mean I'm healthy. Otherwise, I would not feel like I have no control over fainting. <laughs> Running and physical activity is wonderful. It makes you feel great, uh, helps your physical body, but it doesn't get you deep enough into what we call relaxation response. A relaxation response is where your body goes through a process where it can relieve the stress, the results of stress in your body. Brain education, the exercises that we do in the program, that kind of exercise really allowed me to go through rela relaxation response where I could get better rest and sleep. For those that really use physical activity a lot for health, I think it is great, but you really, we really need to understand that there's another aspect to health that we really need to pay attention to. And that is what I had to learn. Um, after I could not find out what was happening with me, with my rest or the fainting spells, I went into the body and brain and learned brain education. And then as I started doing opening exercises that relieved the physical tension in my body from stress, that helped me relax my mind and my body and I could get a more restful sleep. It helped me to focus on something other than all of my worries. And it helped me focus inside of my body and I could feel my body. And as I got deeper into sensing this physical body to a deeper level than I ever did, even with all the sports that I was doing, it helped me 
converse with myself on a very truthful level. My favorite brain education principle is if you choose it, it will happen. And the reason why I love this principle because I think the most powerful thing that we own having a brain and a body is the power of choosing. And how are we choose to live our life and to use our body and energy in the best way that will contribute to everyone and everything. For young aspiring athletes, I think it's very important to know who you are, to never forget that person inside of you. Even if many things happen and change on the outside and people from the outside will look at you differently and maybe treat you differently, it is most important to always know exactly who you are and to have that feeling, that feeling of how beautiful you are all the way down inside, beyond your age changing or your body changing, um, even relationships changing outside. So always know that and the best way to do that is to really spend time with yourself. So as you do athletics, like if it's swimming, for example, or you know running, it's always good to take some time to just feel what's going on inside of your body as you're doing the activity. And through that process, you will have this natural communication with your mind and your body. And then a lot of questions can be answered as you are continually aware of doing this as you exercise or as you move your body, conversing with yourself, then answers become more clear and then your purpose becomes clearer.